comes to NTP, there are two things you're going to want to do. Firstly, let a client inside connect out to gain NTP time from out on the internet. Now, let's see, you can see on this server here, I've got an access list bound to my outbound traffic, called outbound. Yours may be called something different, so let's see what that's doing. Okay, there's plenty of traffic on there, and because all that traffic is allowed, inherently everything else is not allowed, including your NTP traffic. So we're going to need to add that to the access list. Type in conf t, go to configure mode, and add a line to the outbound access list. Access list outbound. Permit. Remember, NTP runs over UDP. From any to any equals NTP. Or I could type in 123 there if I wanted to. So that will let out any NTP traffic from the inside outbound. Finish off with a write mem to save that to memory. Now, the other thing you might want to do with NTP is for the ASSER itself to take its time from an external NTP. If you're doing logging, etc., and you want reliable date stamps, the command for that is simply NTP space server, then the IP address of the public NTP server that you want to sync time from. That one's Manchester University. And you need to tell it that its source is outside. And hit return, as simple as that. You can check on its status by simply typing show NTP status. Now you can see there that I've only just set it up so the clock is unsynchronized. It does take a few minutes to do its initial synchronization. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and jump forward in time. I've left it about five minutes and you can see that now the clock is synchronized and we've got reliable date stamp for our syslogs, etc. Don't forget what you've done finally. Save your changes once again with a write mem command. That's us done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.pnetlife.com.